Okay, here's some more 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa action. I'm playing as Portugal. They're a four and a half star rated team. Pretty well rated all around. They're in Group G along with Brazil, North Korea, and Ivory Coast. Who Portugal faces in the first group stage game. In real life, these two teams play to a scoreless draw. Once again, I'm using the default rosters. Although I am giving myself the freedom to change the lineup as needed. Bolsingua, number three, the right back in real life, he did not participate in the tournament because of injury. So late in the first half, Ronaldo wins the ball, then plays it ahead to Lietzen. He skies it over the bar. Later, just before halftime, Ronaldo with the cross into Simao, but he heads the ball over the crossbar. Late in regulation, Ivory Coast is going to get a great opportunity. Drogba is on the breakaway. Eduardo comes out to take the ball. And then in uh, stoppage time, Deco is going to find Raul Morales. Ronaldo is going to take a shot with his left foot, but it's straight at the keeper. And that's how the game ends, just like in real life, 0-0. Zero, zero. The second group stage game, Nadi is in the starting lineup because Simao picked up an injury. He'll be out for three games. So Clyde Tilsey mentions Portugal and North Korea take facing each other in 1966 World Cup. That's the best ever finish for the Portuguese national team. They finished in third place. In real life, Portugal won this matchup 7-0. So in the first minute, more or less from the opening kickoff, Ronaldo wins the ball, and he's on a breakaway. And he's going to poke it with his left foot just wide of the post. Lietzen hits the post just a few minutes later. Ronaldo's going to find Morales. He finds Lietzen. He hits the post once again. Early in the second half, Portugal is on the counter-attack. Duda, he's going to play a through ball down the middle to Lietzen. He's on a breakaway. He's going to take his time. This, this time he scores just inside the left post. Opens his account for the tournament late in regulation. Here's Lietzen again looking for a brace, but he misses... The postage stamp goal, but that's enough. His art prior goal is enough to give Portugal three points. In the uh, final group stage game, Portugal faces Brazil. This time, Ronaldo is wearing the captain's armbands. So going into the match, Portugal and Brazil are tied for first place, but in theory, anybody could still win the group depending on what happens in the other game and what happens in this game. So once again, Nadi is starting in place of Simao, who, as I've mentioned, is injured. Brazil, no surprises there. Well, Ronaldinho is not starting. Maybe he picked up an injury, who knows. But early in the match, Morales is looking for Almeida. Oh, yes, Almeida is starting in place of Liedson. Almeida gets another chance. He misses wide. Once again, Almeida misses wide. He hits the post. Bosingua in the second half, running down the right touch line, is going to look for Almeida, but he shoots it right at the keeper. In the other matchup, the Ivory Coast tied up their game against North Korea. Almeida once again he gets a shot on target this time. But in spite of Almeida's miscues, Portugal advances because of their draw. That was really all they needed, but that is not enough to win the group. So Brazil and Portugal finish tied with five points, but because of the goal differential, Brazil wins the group. 
And here are the results of the other groups. Nothing stands out. So in the first knockout game, Portugal will face Spain, the winner of Group H. So we have an Iberian matchup. There's the uh, the famed Spanish lineup. No surprises, 4-4-2 formation. That's pretty much the formation they use in real life in lineup. Same lineup as before for Portugal. Ronaldo Almeida and Nani up front. Deco gets fouled outside of the box. Iniesta is going to pick up a yellow card. Deco is going to take a shot on goal from the direct free kick, but he misses wide. Ramos is going to find Torres. Bicycle kick, but Eduardo is able to save that shot and the follow-up from David Villa. Late in the first half, Nani wins the ball and near the final third. He's going to run Sergio Ramos right back, way out of position. That lets Nani run in unopposed. He hits the post, but then he gets the rebound, blasts it with his left foot just before halftime. That gives Portugal a 1-0 lead. In the second half, here is Nani with the shot from close range, but Casillas saves it. Ronaldo finding Almeida. He scores from near the penalty spot. He solidified the starting spot in place of Lietzen. Now late in the second half, Spain makes a double substitution, try to turn things around. In stoppage time, Portugal wins the ball and ends up at the feet of Cristiano Ronaldo. He beats Puyo, who's not able to catch up. He centers it for Raul Morales, who tucks it in past Casillas. The exclamation point. A convincing win against the number one ranked team in the world. Spain not able to win the World Cup in this playthrough. Portugal advancing to the quarterfinals.